Hey, what's going on? My name is Travis Patel. In this video of Crushing E-Commerce, we're going to set up the initial basic setting so that we have a store that we can start setting up products and roll with. So first off, what we need to do is we can just head into the settings here and see all the different things that we can change. First off, the name. We can clean that up. Don Mazuma, our account email. We're actually set up to my uh, support desk. And we can pretty this up at a later date where it has something from actual donmazuma.com. And that will just forward to the exact same customer support desk I have here. Legal name right now is LLC. If we get an LLC for Don Mazuma later, we can put that in there. Same address, default weight, unit system, time zone, all looks good. Click and save. Payments. Shopify payments, complete shop payments account set up. This will be setting up with your bank account. PayPal, we're gonna set this up as well. If you have Google Wallet set up or if you have Stripe or um, any of those other payment systems, this is where you're gonna set it up. So you're gonna wanna set up all of these. Well, I guess Stripe is powered with the Shopify. Um, so this is definitely settings you want to edit, add your, uh, I think it's your banking information for this one, and then of course your login information for PayPal. That's how you can get paid. Check out our checkout process. We can see what's going on. Um, accounts are disabled. We're gonna go with accounts are optional so people can create a, a profile and we can you know better market and better collect information. Full name, require last name only, company name, optional, hidden required. All this stuff is you know personal pr preference. We can have the phone number you know in there. We don't need it, their information. Order processing, <clears throat> lots of different options we can play with. Now, as we get different scripts, you know, certain tools that you want to add, you're going to have to add things to the each page or the checkout page, like the header and the HTML file. Different scripts, especially when you're you're doing tracking with conversion pixels and Facebook ads later on, you'll need to add certain scripts to the pages and this is uh, where you do that on the checkout page. So conversion pixels especially, this is where you would add that. Checkout language, we're in English. You can add your refund policy here, your privacy policy, terms of service, definitely important to add that. Shipping, we have, you can have different weights. Um, right now it's set at standard shipping, zero to five pounds is $8. We're going to actually change that where zero to five will be 495. You can add a you know different rate depending on the state. Looks good for now. We'll save that. All right, and then our heavy goods shipping, we're gonna change that to 20. And that's just a preference. You can play around with what you want. And then there's also advanced uh, shipping setups. So if you have a setup with the FedEx or UPS or USPS, the United States Post Service, you can get that going. And then here's uh, later on when I talked about already fulfillment and drop shipping. If you're having products on Amazon, very simple to set up um, right here with these little apps and, and easy integrations. So that's a good little thing. Taxes, if you're charging taxes in your product, you have a store, it's important to set up. We don't do the taxes online. Notifications, these are all the emails and the messages that buyers and yourself are sent when certain actions happen. This is impo very important to look into and edit the way you want it, whereas you know, a confirmation email after someone has purchased, you can add in related products or a, a collection that fits well with that product different things like that that will allow opportunities to sell more products, you know, uh, avoid refunds, explain situations, and all that good stuff on the autopilot sent. So these are important to go through, check out their coming. It's gonna say order notifications or send an email to me right now, which we're gonna send that, change that soon. Files, if you wanna upload some files, and then just your, your account here. Um, we're at just the the, the mid-range, I think, is when you start at or the low. So that is the initial settings we want to go through and edit. And then right here, the next thing before anything else is we want to do the 
domain, the uh, custom domain. Because right now the store is donmazuma.myshopify.com and we want it to be donmazuma.com, which we have already purchased that domain before, so we can just go ahead and set that up on Shopify. So we're gonna go ahead and add an existing domain, donmazuma.com, add domain, and ours is a name cheap. All right, so now it's just about setting up the right IP address and setting so that the domain that you purchase, wherever you purchase, purchase it, will hook up with the actual Shopify store. And they have instructions on how to do all this stuff. As you see, click here, go to instructions, whichever one you're using. We're using, like I said, Namecheap. Um, so it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. We go into Namecheap here. We're going to go into manage our domains. We're going to find our Don Mazuma. Edit selected. And then I believe it is all host records. And now here's where we can change this up. And let's make sure we get this part right because that's the important stuff. So we say, where are we at? Here we go. I'm gonna add that number, which is the same number right there, into an A address. A address. 1800. The next one's www. And then we do the domazuma.myshopify.com. Good, 2728, looks good, looks good. We're gonna click Save Changes. All right, Hellish Tracker updated successfully. Looks good there. Now you go back to the Shopify store, give it a few you know, minutes maybe, and you can refresh and see if this is hooked up appropriately. Next off, we'll set our primary domain as the, the new domain we've created. Redirect all traffic to this domain so that it all goes to domazuma.com. We'll click save. And then it can take, you know, up to, there we go, domazuma.com. Opening soon is our first sales page. Store password. All right, so that is the opening page once we don't have any products there or anything created yet. So we have the site set up, ready to go. And it can take up to 24 hours, depending on your uh, hosting or your, your <clears throat> domain provider uh, to get that, those settings going. So yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video, got an outlet for it. You'd see how easy it is to set up your store, edit the settings, get it rocking. And then you need to move on to the next step. We're going to get our first product uh, uploaded.